Just living. I mean, this is this is a uh, apropos because apparently it's Rick Moranis' seventy first birthday. So, <laughs> happy birthday to Rick Moranis. One of, one of the good guys. That was like one of my first movies that I watched like obsessively. Great movie. I haven't watched it in a long time. I really should. I, really... I was just today talking about how he and Martin Short, with a friend of mine, how he and Martin Short are sort of like the two celebrities that I can think of that seem genuinely like sweet, sweet men. They both have been visited by tragedy. It's just not fair. <laughs> now, um, God, it's like that, like Mart. Um, yeah, uh, Little Shop of Horrors, um, The Three Amigos. Oh, well, there you and, go. And, like, Ghostbusters were, like, my, sort of, like, my top three movies. <laughs> I mean, those are, that's that's an excellent group. I think mine, mine, and if I'm, like, if I'm really thinking about movies we watched, it would have been, like, there's, there's sort of the lowbrow movies that we watched. I don't know if anyone except me and my sister liked them. I don't know if my dad liked them, which was, like, Ace Ventura and The Mask, which we watched obsessively, both of those. And then um, Mel Brooks movies, so Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein. Um, just you know, classics in their own right. Oh. Um, yeah, no, it's it's um, it's funny because I I like I I was born like right as like you know Spaceballs was hitting like right when I was like mm-hmm. the age to watch Spaceballs and like I just I never really liked it. It was on HBO constantly. Um, Spaceballs I liked better when I watched it. Uh, there was like a, a a showing. I mean. If you haven't watched any other Mel Brooks, I, I strongly encourage you to, uh, because it is not... I would say Space, Spaceballs is perhaps like a bottom five movie of his. Um, but uh, uh, I watched it at a theater with my dad, he's a big Mel Brooks guy, and uh, the, the the recent showing was much more fun than <laughs> I recalled it being. I was like, okay, this is actually pretty good. Um, Young Frankenstein is, is... I mean, Blazing Saddles is excellent, but uh, Young Frankenstein is probably the best... Um, well, and then my dad has like long said like there's not a lot of perfect movies out there, but that one he would say is <laughs> is probably. And I I don't know I don't know if there's anything I would change about it either. It's like it's a it's a perfect farce. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So let's let's get this underway. We got we got we got stuff to do. We got things to do. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the best of all possible souls. It's me, Dia. I've been talking to Trevor's trunk. Trevor, say hi. Hi everyone. Hi Derby. And Hi. We're here with Derby, who's got a new hat. I love Derby's hat. I forgot that we got Derby's hat. That's right. Um, we 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 held out. We were doing the year of the the chainmail uh, call for a long time, and it was it was a real good look. And finally, Derby was ready to let it go here at the end of the world, with quite frankly. Most incredible helmet in all I mean, of Dark I'm, Souls. I'm really ha- like part of me is really happy that we waited to this point because the only reason we could have is that this this helmet is not really available earlier. No, like, I, I feel like if I knew that we'd gone through the game without this look, I would be a little disappointed. Yeah, I could see I could see being disappointed by that, but she's very beautiful now. Yeah, no, it's I think so it, good. It also works with her hollowness. Like, it really, I, I feel like yeah, it, it does. Like the the the. The god. I was just thinking. I was like, "This is. It's, we 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 really get. You know. Like I think this 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 works in with the the the, the way the hollowness works and kind of just kind of the the wooden uh, like you know desiccated. Yeah. Like there's like a tree bark nature to the way the hollowing looks in Dark Souls Three. Like I don't think we get. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, um, I mean, especially with the especially with the black mark thing that we that we never fixed, you know, like yeah, the, uh, that that really looks like a tree mark. Like, person. Derby Derby really looks like the, you know, um, like when you um you're you're starting fires when you're <laughs> when you're camping in the woods and you um you curl up, you, you know, you you take your knife and you you curl up the edges to make mm-hmm. them shallow yeah. oh, so they. Yeah. they yeah, it, it with the hair like that and derby skin, it's really just kind of, it really has this 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 kindling vibe to it. Yeah, it looks like it also looks like those trees that just have that sort of going on on them as well. Is that like uh, it's not white ash, is it? Or like I'm trying to think of what those would be. The birch. 
Yeah, the birch. That's yeah. I'm terrible with trees. My wife's much better with them than I am. The only reason I can like remember remember birch is because, um, like we we don't really have we don't have them. Uh, mm-hmm. And and but and so like but I've been started watching all these weird Canadian YouTubers uh, that just do like adventure cold weather camping. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's and, a great YouTube. That's, like, like, that's such a good YouTube subculture. And it's really great when, like, they just, they, like, they're like, well, I thought I'd find some birch along this trail here, but um, <laughs> there isn't any. So, um, and my wood's real wet. So, oh, we'll see what we do tonight. Um, <laughs> Has, it, have they all made it back safely thus far? There, there was one guy, and he, he fucked his knee up real bad. Oh, and, no. And, like, his girlfriend had to mount, like, a rescue mission. Oh no. I don't know what to do with these guys, Trevor. Which guys? These oh, guys. Yeah. I think you just have to I think you have to I mean, can you I can think you, you're mounting a rescue ex- expedition like Yeah, really. Can you uh can you hop behind these graves? I think that's what we have to do is good luck. Yeah, really. Cuz they kind of pop up shoot. Oh, there they are. Holy shit. That's so cool though. That's really neat. Yeah. But like, are they gonna? <laughs> oh no, they're gonna get you. Okay, so oh, good job. you gotta okay, find the right between. ones. Yeah, because I was like, this is like, oh, and there's there's that thing over there. I don't know what the hell that's about, but okay. Oh shit. Oh, that's what's calling it. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no. I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I mean, it was an understandable mistake. I understand what happened there. I, I, I get it. <laughs> I would have been freaked out by that skeleton too. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> the skeleton really threw me off. My but word. but we made it pretty far. We made it almost, almost a, a little more than halfway. Yeah, I think that. I mean, that shows that our technique there is actually the, the pretty right The technique works. Yeah. The, you know what is interesting to me about this? This honestly kind of looks a little bit like the way the setup of the graves, um, in like the first, uh, Dark Souls. Oh, on that hill, you mean? Yeah, because you got that weird little. Like, we got that little weird like the, the little dais that you can kind of go up and. Oh, I did it wrong. Did it wrong. Did it wrong. Wait, maybe oh, we can make good, it. Oh. Good. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. See? Not fucking around. Okay, we gotta go over here. Run, Derby. Why aren't you running? Okay. Is Derby over in Oh, somehow? shit. No. No. Oh. So, Derby, what are we doing? Oh, oh, Derby. Why am I one handing the sword? What's going on there? Oh, my God. It's skeleton. It's gnarly. Look at that thing. He's got vines yeah, it's growing weird. up out of his mouth. And he's so strong. Is the thing about him? I don't, I don't understand what we're looking at there, but I, I like it. I just, uh, I'm a little baffled by it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Good. Got two hand with sword here, for starters. Okay. Got to get my my S's Can we flask. Run? <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Let's. You know, is there anything back this way? Actually, I should look back here before I go yes, too far afield. Oh, they're shooting. Okay, yeah, I <laughs> they're see. They're gonna get you. <laughs> they're, they're gonna get you, damn. Oh, wait, there's there's a whole... Oh, look, it's a treasure. The, oh, ruined the ruined helm. Which, I mean, those are, those look like the guys that are attacking you, right? Those look like, like the not... guys that are attacking me. I want to look at this for a second. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna just rush ahead. We're in a little safe spot. We can sit here and we can look at the ruins set. Helm of the Company of Knights who were sent to the Ringed City on an old king's orders. The knights sought the dark soul, but were so soundly crushed, they had little choice but to swear themselves to the judicator giant. Oh, my. The ill-fated company was later immortalized in a dark fable, inspiring the aspect of certain golems in whom their name lived on. (gasps) So that's like the ruined sentinels. The ruined sentinels were yeah. inspired by these these motherfuckers who were dead. Who, so we're sort of are we in the past? Are we? Well, it's so just a. I think this this guy was a guy who died, um, 
you know, he came to the Ring City to get the Dark Soul. So the Dark, the Ring City has always existed. Is my is what it seems. Yeah, like. right. Okay, you're right. You're right. Which is interesting to me because, you know, Dark Souls really gives the impression that like there is one city and its name is Londor. Oh, I can't go that way. <laughs> On to our third death already. This is... You're doing great. This is, People are going to like this episode, I think. Do people like when we die a lot? I don't know. I've, I don't I've know. never been able to figure that out. I think out. when we die in fun ways and we're fun about it, but like when we get fully tilted, I don't know how much they enjoy that. <laughs> Everyone loves when we're fully tilted. I mean, I think I do. I think it's entertaining and interesting and, and whatnot, but, you know, they might not. But, you know. <laughs> Sound off, listeners. Yeah, I only... Uh, I only do this so much for other people. Oh, there's a thing over here. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I think that's why. Why green blossom? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I think that's why I have so much fun with it, too, is because yeah. it doesn't feel like we're just doing it for everyone else. No. Uh, um, Dia is for the people, but also only up to a point. Um, <laughs> it can't be for the people fully if you're not also for yourself. You know, um, like, like Jill McMillan and AMC's Halt and Catch Fire, um, at some point, the I do it for, you know, society uh, falls off, and you have to just start doing things for yourself. Mm. Um, fuck I, all uh, y'all. Fuck all y'all. I'm over here. You can get me. I hit uh, my daughter today with the... Uh, it was a, She was playing... She was complaining about how she was playing Pokemon Go and couldn't, uh, couldn't get a shiny. Oh, of, son of a of bitch. Jeez. Of the person she wanted, and um, I hit her with the, uh, the the you know the the arc of justice. The arc of the arc of history is long, but it points towards justice. And uh, and she she she's like completely you know pointless. I didn't mean I didn't mean anything by it. But she goes, no, it does. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what? And I was like, well, I do anything. I was, my wife was like, yeah, why why bother doing? Uh, you know, you want to be a lawyer, which I mean, you know, she's. So who knows what she wants to be? But um, she's like, because because it'll let me buy the stuff I want to and give me a salary. I was like, whoa, this is so dark. I um, mean, when I was ten, I wanted to be a lawyer too because I, I knew that, like, you know, um, my parents kept talking about how our lawyers were richer than they were. <laughs> I feel like my daughter and you have a lot in common. Um, it, I mean, listen, it's one of those things where. I can't totally gainsay what she's saying, and it reminds me of the, uh, it reminds me of what you just said, where it's like, listen, you can hit me with as many platitudes as you want. <laughs> In the end, I'm, I'm on me. <laughs> this is, if I don't get paid, if I don't eat, no one eats. Okay. So at some point, he starts, like, double casting, because, like, he was bringing yeah, up that one yeah. rank right after the other one went down. I that was yeah. It gets really fast at the end there. Yeah. Um. I wonder if you have to just like, because like you did have a little bit of success dodging. It's so cool watching him like wake up and just to do that. Yeah, One I did other have thought. Mm -hmm. uh, it it. I don't know if it will work. Is to use that door shield. Drop everything and just use the door it shield. It takes up so much stamina to block that many shots. Mm. Like they're doing so much damage okay, um, okay. from like it's from like because it's it's just it's hundreds of arrows. Like these okay, dudes are okay. shooting so many arrows, so right, quickly. which is why like any any yeah, like any mistake is not going to work. Right, 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 right. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a thought, but I agree <laughs> with you that would not work. No. I'm sure we'll figure a way out through here, or this will just be the episode. <laughs> Just, just constantly quit. throwing ourselves at this one this one section of this wall. Um, that would be funny. I, I also <laughs> think it would be funny if um, there was some like exploit where you could get them, where you get the giant via like extreme long distance attacks or something. Like that's the thing, because like our giant could take him out. You know. Yeah. Like um like the like Goff Goff could totally wreck this motherfucker. Totally. But we don't have a golf anymore. Um. No, famously, famously, giants in Souls games oh. not long lived. Um, I want to see if I can just do it. this. Oh, I can. Ooh, nice. Oh shit! Oh. 
<laughs> oh, no, I can't go down there, though. <laughs> Sorry. That was, that was really good. <laughs> oh, sweet. A way around these guys. <laughs> Just get ventilated. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> was just, that was pretty good. Pretty that good. was that was really fun. But I think you might be onto something there. I think I'm onto something. Yeah, I think I need to go forward next time. And though I didn't realize this, um, these guys really do have some like real like 360 aiming capabilities. Oh yeah, um, these guys being can hit you like ghosts anywhere. and whatever bullshit. I mean, it's 360, but it's also like up and down. Yeah. Like you are oh. you are not free oh. of them anywhere. Oh no. That didn't work that time either. What what if what if you what if you sacrificed speed and ability to move and just put on all of Havel's gear? <sighs> I mean again, like I think they just do too much damage. Mm -hmm. Um I think maybe if I took off the ring that did I take off oh I took off the ring that Oh wait, no I didn't. Yeah, that mm. might help. Oh that for this that particular really, run. Um I gotta take off armor then. Oh boy. All right, Derby. Oh, Derby, that's kind of you're kind of like pretty sick. Yeah, that's that's pretty, a pretty sick pretty, look. Honestly, I'm not gonna front. Pretty cool. Um, now I have like no defense. Though I'm like taking more damage, and it's like, well, how much of the resistance am I losing? <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. the way, answer. Way, way too much. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> well, now we know. I hope you got a big <laughs> notepad to to make hash marks in. <laughs> oh yeah. No. No. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I sure do. Don't worry. <laughs> this is this is a classic hash marks one. There are some where I can just remember. Those are always funny. But uh, you know, you'll die once in an entire thing. But uh, yeah, this is this is. No. A, I'm keeping notes. Yeah, this one's. <laughs> this is a, um, okay, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my armor back on because that that was my look. There we go. Yeah, I, <laughs> and also you kind of just. It, think yeah. It's a better move. Oh, that takes a lot of health. That's interesting though. Is it at all helpful? No. No. Not really. I like the sound of them kind of like whooshing by your head at times, but that's... It's a... This is like a terrifying situation to me. Okay. And then, so now we got that. Now we're just going to go over here. Yeah. And then... Yeah, Down here. Okay. Okay. What well, do we this got is... Here? So all of Crestfallen Something. Knight, that's not that interesting, but it's fine. I mean, fine, I'd be Crestfallen too if I ended up here, I, I guess. I'd, yeah, I guess. At least you're out of the way of those guys. You yeah. can eat these these leaves over here. They're probably not toxic. There's worse places to be in Dark Souls. I'll give you that. Oh, shit. What the? Oh. Jesus. Or, or is there? <laughs> God. Fine. Miyazaki, I have a heart condition. It's a like... It's like I can't Another believe one coming down. I hear him. class action coming uh, at Miyazaki's right? way. Just, just from you, though. <laughs> it's like the, the first class action of its kind. <laughs> it just like instantly just smashes them apart. Dude, you really put that head back on. Like, you I were, love like, that. I what, really, a, what, a good, what a great touch. You really needed that head to go back on. Ah, dude, you're all... It's almost like he's up. being held together by the t the vines, the dead vines. Yeah. It's like it's a play on that weird kind of like, oh, these guys are like filled with like terrifying maggots or something that we see a lot in like Bloodborne or whatever. Mm -hmm. But and like, instead it's the vines, which is well, pretty interesting. It's interesting that their vines are all withered because like honestly, we're we're kind of lush here. Yeah. You yeah, know. definitely. Actually, wow, this, this is, is kind of, this is, this is sick over here, like, looking back at where we came beautiful. from. beautiful. Yeah. Let me just hop over. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Behold. Drop. <laughs> I was like, let me just get back into this corner over here where I... <laughs> surely, surely this won't be a problem. God damn it. This is such a dick slap, Miyazaki. That's so mean. Why would you, why would you even put that there? <laughs> So mean. Like it really is. It's like we really, you really needed to make that an archway. That was something that you felt was so important to make a reveal there, there. Yeah, we need. We, in order for this to be realistic, there has to be a place for the player to fall to their doom. Yeah, I see you. Yes. All right, who wants to come down? 
Yeah, I see. Oh, look at you jump in. That's a great jump. Yeah, oh, look, These now skeletons are nimble. They are. Oh, what is he doing? He's trying to figure out how to get down here. <laughs> They're nimble, but they are. Uh, they have Ooh, weird pathing. <laughs> <laughs> I think they do the little like YOLO fall. They're like, Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's hey, like my listen. favorite things in Dragon's Dogma 2 is like when you jump, you kind of just like you do like this weird little base jump fall ah. every time. And like no matter what height, you kind of, you know, your your character kind of jumps and immediately starts to pitch forward to fall flat. <laughs> like they're skydiving and it's like, why are you doing this? You're jumping three feet. It's like the uh it's like the thing in um Oh, what's what? But what is that called? I'm forgetting what that book's called. Uh, oh, the guide, uh, the the Hitchhiker's Guide, where they say, um, it's because it's been so long since I've read the Hitchhiker's Guide, um, where they say like the way to fly is just you you fall and you forget that you can't fly. Um, <laughs> it's like what's happening in Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> yeah. The one, the one thing I'll give Miyazaki is he's never made me chase a fucking head around. Um, in order to kill skeletons in Dragon's Dogma, at least in Dragon's Dogma 2, I don't remember in Dragon's Dogma 1 if that was a concern. You have to go and like find their heads oh. and chase after them. That is um, so obnoxious. It's really obnoxious and they're really small and they're hard to target and there's no like locking. There's no target lock in, in, um, Dragon's okay. Dogma. That's a mistake. Um, I mean, it makes sense in the, the the scope of the actual combat system, but when you have to chase down these tiny little rolling heads, and like the head, the, the skeleton heads are much smaller because um, everything's got like kind of a different Ugh. scale, and it's just like this sucks. I hate this so much. Yeah, that sounds awful. And they come back really fast if you don't get the head in time. Like it's just like, oh, of course, because you, you it's know. If they didn't do that, then uh, how how would you know that you hated uh, playing that particular boss is that, or enemy? Is that building? Is that a chain coming out of that building, or is that like a no? Okay, no. Okay, I it's, think it's like yeah, it's a it's a sort of like it's a little weird ring kind of crucifix sort of DLA uh, bopper. Yeah, I the first like I thought that. it was like I'm like wait, is that a chain link coming from that boulder? <laughs> but, that would um, be so cool. That would be weird. Like you know the whole that, the whole building is like or the whole city is kind of held together by. There's just Rings. another giant over there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, there's lots of, lots of tree vines down there. There's some broken city, some salt lower city. There's That looks like a building we can get to and go in, and there's a path. Yeah, yeah. Damn, there's a hole. This, God, this, this is, is big. This is big. The, I guess we really did just kind this. of just start the DLC in a way. Like, you know, we, we did a bunch of falling. We fought a boss, but, like... Yeah, I mean, this is... It's the DLC is called the Ring City, not the path to the Ring City. Um, <laughs> I love I love the path to the Ring City. I love the path a, to the Ring City. We all love the we all love taking the path to the Ring City. But um, oh. so yeah, this is this is this is cool. oh this, this is like, wild yeah. There's some that that magic crystallized magic shit from like Seath's cave over there or whatever. Just just hanging out just in case you needed any of it. Well, it's like it's like concentrated magic or something. It's like you know it's like. Uh, materia or whatever. <laughs> it is like materia. It's like materia. Only instead of like you know the earth's blood or whatever, it's 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 magic. Seeth's, Seeth's blood. It's I Seeth's blood, man. <laughs> Maybe. Thanks for putting this ladder here, uh, architect. <laughs> Someone's gonna want to get up here. <laughs> oh wait. I yeah, guess this kind of does put me a little bit back behind everyone. So now I gotta run up these stairs over here and... Oh yeah, maybe if the giant can't see you. Yeah, if he can't see me until... Oh, Jesus. Look at him. He's a big wow. boy. Don't stand. Oh, shit. They can shoot me from over... Oh. No. Uh, oh, he's got them up okay. here. Oh, oh, and he's got a big sweep. Um, but I think if you get behind his chair, you're okay. I really... There's not a lot of operating room behind his chair is the thing. Oh, boy. Holy shit, my guy, you were so big and so difficult. <laughs> That's like when they when they when they like see the space jockey and alien. <laughs> like the first time you like you see that scene you're just like, damn. That's just so much bigger than 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 the people are in this movie. Yes. 
This is yeah. This is a real scale kind of nightmare. And this is this is the thing that this is this is what this is what like Frem Software is good at is like doing these weird scale things. And honestly, th this is the kind of thing that made Demon Souls good was doing weird levels like this, where like you did yep. have like like I will never forget the bridge run in Demon Souls. Nope, that is like. It, truly memorable yeah and also i mean it sucked <laughs> but it, was yeah, good. It, was, it was painful it was yeah. so painful well and like it, it's it's i think like demon souls got a really bad rap from weirdos from from soft weirdos for having like I, I can't even remember what they said like it was basically like oh these these boss levels are too much like puzzles and not about skill or whatever right mm -hmm. and like on a certain level yeah but on another level like Having that in every so often is pretty cool. How does this piece of shit know where I'm at? It's a great question. Wait, uh, fuck you, buddy. All right, Just fine. real smart. Yeah, wow. Like, that dragon, I've said this a million times, but that dragon, yeah, okay. Like, it's kind of silly that that's the way that that works. It also is just really cool. <laughs> like, it's just, yeah. it's sweet. Um... Well, something died. Hopefully it was that skeleton. Yeah. Must have been. He must have walked off to his death. I don't... Maybe he didn't know where you were. Maybe he was just guessing the whole time. Yeah. I mean, he was like, walking kind of right at me, but... <laughs> oh, there's... Yeah, there's I see... Guy. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, now you can see where they all are. They're right on that ledge. Okay. And they're right over there, and... Are you gonna come down? Like, what are you... Are, are we gonna... Are you gonna do the thing where you try climbing? Oh, no, you're gonna fall. <laughs> and then what? What are you doing now? What do you... What option do you have? Well... Yeah, you don't... Enough. You don't have... You don't got shit, do you? You can't climb. You can't climb. Your hands are full. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. You uh, should luck, I... aren't you? Yeah, well, you, you just stay down there and you think about it. Maybe we'll, we'll see something next time. <laughs> what if I just... Can I just get away from... No, I, there's no... Wait, there's, wait, there's down here. Okay, what's down here? Oh, son of a... What? What? Whoa! What? Holy shit, my Many guy! Of the what? Fire, oh, forsaken. I speak oh, of thine hello. kind <laughs> and mine. Behold this city. We are kindred, but like two eyes which gaze upon the other. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Ex excuse me, my man. You gotta. You, you can't just leave us like that. That's One just. That's just confusing. Was a wayfaring knight on an endless, forbidden search. Only the abyss granted closure, if not reunion with his beloved. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Many of us are by the fire, forsaken. I speak of thine kind and mine. Behold oh. this city. We are kindred, but like two eyes which gaze upon the other. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. Okay, so we're we're forsaken by the fire because, I mean, basically we're not the gods. Right. Is really the deal, I think, there. Yeah, so, and then it's us plus these sort of, like, monstrosities. Yeah, which what we, is in, in fairness, different than a hollow. wayfaring hollow. knight. Yeah. On an endless forbidden wayfaring search. Wayfaring endless forbidden Only search. the abyss granted closure. Well, that's our Tori, right? not reunion with his beloved. Fear not. Is it? Who is our Tori's uh, beloved? Well, good question. That's, yeah, I mean, maybe we'll... Uh, but this so you're gonna guy, let that big giant live? Well, he has uh, all those iridescent wings. Those are cool. I mean, he seems he seems chill. He calls me friend. He's got he's got a. He's oh got a, no no no! I think you should let him live. I oh was oh, the giant, giant up there. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's sweet. Yeah, I like him a lot. 
homie, you, you you're so shiny. That's a really interesting choice of like shiny color for his prime, like his primary body color. Yes, absolutely. Of ambush. Is. Oh, I see. There's some 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 dickweeds over here. <laughs> see you, dickweed. Oh, whoa! You had the advantage there and did nothing with it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I also tried to just push us off like that. Can't do that. Not allowed. I like these guys because they're they're like weirder. They got they've got the kind of the same skin color situation as that other guy going on. Mm -hmm. The weird bug man. But they yeah. seem just kind of like normal hollows. What a weird wild place. I think this guy over here is just like a knight. He's just, <laughs> just, he's just trying around. to do his thing. Yeah, he's he's the knight that came here looking for his love. Like really, uh, yes. I love this this like walkway we're on, and there's like this dilapidated cathedral down there. It's pretty sick. Yeah, no, I mean, this, this whole this, area is really cool. This zone is cool as hell. Oh, that's I can see. Yeah, that's that's, that's wild. We're gonna oh, we're gonna be leap. spotting something down there. Yeah, there's 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 shit going on. Around here, I love the um, the 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 texture, the patterning going on for the water over there, where it's yeah, it's it's very little... clearly it's doing that grid thing. Oh, there is I don't know, you think so? <laughs> there's something there's I can't I don't know why I don't remember like there is a lot of a lot of designers, uh, a lot of game devs like will complain about it on Twitter. I've seen like. Anytime something like that happens, oh, what? what? Wait, what's ha what is happening? What's attacking you? Well, there was a guy hanging off the side, and well, I, no, I know, but then he was gone. And then yeah, because he fell. But as he fell, like his jump attack triggered. Oh. And he just clipped through the floor. Is that what happened? That's what happened, as I understand huh. what just happened to me. Goodness. Um. Yeah. Okay, there's something going on in there. But there's a there's an item over here. Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. But that was a good exploration realm. That round, was a good yeah. That was a good run. I'm I'm pleased with that. Um. I gotta figure out what to do with it if, if I'm doing anything about that giant. I guess oh, I kind of no. want to. Is the thing. Yeah, uh, I was I was gonna say as a as a viewer. I would love to watch you kill that. Giant. I want, yeah, I want to, I want to kill the giant. I want to kill the unicorn. <laughs> I, I understand why it might be difficult to do so, but. But you know, we'll, we'll find out. Because the thing is, I want to explore this space because there's like neat stuff here. It looks like. Yeah, and it's gonna be really hard to do with all those archers. But yeah, well, it's, it's yeah, it's impossible. Like, right. Especially because I don't think that there's anything that's going to be particularly neat up here, but... We're just going to want to sit and look at the architecture a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to fall down. You're going to come after me and try to fall down because you're not going to be able to do the thing when you want to do up here. Hey, guys, over here. I'm over here. Over here. <laughs> Someone saw you. Oh, oh no. shit. Well, you can do that on a ladder. Of course, you can. You can drink Sunny D anywhere. I didn't know you could do that on a ladder. You That's can, so cool. Yeah, you can drink Sunny D on a ladder, Trav. <laughs> you can't do that with purple, purple stuff. Purple drink. You know, what have we got in the fridge? Milk, purple stuff. Oh, Sunny D. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Oh, good look at those skeletons, though. Yeah. That's neat. Do you think it's like braces? If they kiss, they get all stuck together. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> I was, if I was a, one of the artists working on this game, I would make the skeletons that like I would just make one and just put them in the game and not tell Miyazaki. <laughs> Do you think I would? I would worry if I saw skeletons connected like that. I would worry that the skeletons had mono. Um, <laughs> that would make me worry. I mean, everyone in Dark Souls has mono, so they're always yeah, so tired. That's true. It's gone, it's gone hollowing. It's, 
<laughs> the hollowing disease is just getting mono. <laughs> God. Well, come on, guys. Come on. You wanna you wanna follow me or not? Follow. Jump down here. Or get out of the way. Because we're not doing both. Oh. Son of a bitch. Okay. All right. So far, still alive. Are we coming down? Are we coming down? Or what? What are we doing? Okay. I guess we... I guess we... We leapt off? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I love this game. It's the best. Okay. Oh shit, he's gonna do this shit. Okay, I gotta... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a... Oh, my God. Oh, the worst. Miyazaki, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I love this game. I hate this game. <laughs> <sighs> like, if I could at least start from down there, you know? Yeah. No, I agree. But I gotta do this run every time. Which, like, I mean, like, it, you know, it's it's fairly easy at this point, but it's like, it, it's, it just, it takes, it takes a minute. The, the, Son of a... Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. I think the thing that bothers me the most about this run, this particular run, is that the, the skeletons are there. The skeletons are such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Like, them just, them just being, like, kind of hanging around. It's, it's like, oh, come on. Like, yeah. Can we just, can we not? It's a... And like I get like you know okay you want to put the skeletons in the graveyard uh huh sure but maybe in a different part of the graveyard yeah good thing you got those souls back no I got no souls back I know I was, I was just yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> dark souls baby. That's Dark Souls. This is peak Dark Souls. <laughs> you guys just thinking, wait, where's my flask? <laughs> I love I do love like the the confusion animation. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Like yeah, and I like even like you like you try to use a catalyst and like you don't have MP or you don't have um you know, you you just simply do not have the skill and you're you kind of look at it and stick your arm out and kind of shake and nothing happens. It's just <laughs> It really is like the perfect. Well, yeah, it's exactly it's it's what's funny is like it, it really feels like what you would do as a person if you were, you were in that situation. You're like, oh, it, I guess I, I guess I didn't have that after all. Yeah, Bob, I like that he bops his head back on. Like he doesn't it's just great. put it in place, he puts it in place and then goes Pulp. pat pat. Well, like you would. Mm -hmm. Go back to sleep, giant. It's bedtime, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the two of them. Look at the uh, two of them. Are you so guys going to figure it out? No. No, you guys aren't going to figure it out, huh? Can they climb? I guess they can't because they have... Because they have... Do you think the they guy... can't climb because they're dual wielding? Yeah, they don't, they don't have... Oh, wait. What's... Is this a doorway down here? <gasps> Hidden blessing. That's interesting. Okay. Well, so there's. That's. That is interesting. Oh, son of a. Whoa! It's this okay. asshole. Can I kill no, him? You can't attack him. Can no. You? No, no. He just shows up and does that. The, yeah. Whenever the. And the giant bombs. doesn't go back to sleep. It would seem. That's wild to have like a melee version of that in the in the one place you Just, can hide. Yeah, damn. And then on the stairwell too. So mean. <laughs> like, 
But do they become fire? They make they make the floor just become. Just, yeah, just just in case you survive the arrows, then uh, you get immediately set on fire. Now the good news is the giant does seem pretty squishy. It seems like you can kill the giant pretty fast. Yeah, but I really got a like book, and I don't have a lot of swings on him because. Yeah, see, because because of that. Yeah! No, fuck Get you guys. Some. Okay, I killed the giant, but your, though. But your friend died. Your friend died, so he, he can't come back. <sighs> if he comes Let's back, hope I, that call, that's the I call foul. Yeah, if he I comes back, if he comes foul. back, it's bullshit. You gotta, yeah, you just ignore it, then. We don't need, we don't need to see the yeah. scenery here. No, fuck this area. Alright. Let's see, is he there? He's no, there. he's gone. No, he's is there. That him? Yeah, that's fucking him. Look at that shit. I thought he was gone. Oh yeah, no, no, he's there. Look at that. That sucks. That's bullshit. That's, rude. That's so rude. Yeah. Weak. That should be immediately you're rewarded by him being gone forever. Yeah, and all he all I got was a divine blessing, it seemed. It's like nothing, yeah. Yeah. Garbage. That's terrible. Garbage, Miyazaki. I'm gonna look up that, that giant and see what his whole deal is. Okay. It looks like there might be a dude clutching a thing on that little Platform over there, underneath the big obelisk. His name is Judicator. Oh, he's the Judicator guy. That's yeah. These guys all submitted his his thing, right. his stilo. He is a giant respawning enemy. Uh, I have extremely terrible news for you. What? Um, There's there more of them, four, aren't there? There are four of them in the Ring City. Of course. But the good news is they do re they do uh, appear again and again. So you don't actually need to kill them. Yeah. Um, I mean, the apparently th this first one could summon a hollow using the dragon headstone. <laughs> this is pretty wild. Wow. I mean, the thing is, it's like, okay, um, there's four of them, blah, 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 blah. They're big giants. They do these little weird, like, death runs. I'm assuming they all kind of do the same thing, um, mm -hmm. which is different varying levels of obstacle course between them. Yeah. That's fine, I guess. Don't make them respawnable. Just yeah, have the, like make that be the thing. Is you need to kill the four judicator giants. The video game one hundred and one, kill the four judicator giants. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah. Apparently, this is on Vexter Life. They are also cons this. This is also considered kind of bullshit. Like yeah, no, this is bullshit. I like that one of the trivia in here is that they're based off of the Ruin Sentinels from Dark Souls 2, like, or the, the vice versa, I guess, in terms of the timeline. But like, yeah, of course, obviously, like, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Huh? Like, of course, the summons are based off of the Ruin Sentinels, or the Ruin Sentinels are based off of them. We have eyes. We read the... An ember. Oh, come on. Miyazaki, get fucked. Yeah, I think I think you can safely move yeah, this, on. Yeah, this is boring. Yeah, it's weak. I was like, like really, I was so funny because like, like five minutes ago, I was so high on this. And then it's like, oh, no, you don't kill the, you don't get anything for killing the giants. They respawn. And there's like no interesting items over here. That was like, it's such an easy thing to fix, too. It's uh -huh. so easy to yeah. be like, yeah, OK, like the, your job is to kill the giant. Because like the one, it's like, it, it's always great when tryhards um, say this stuff on Fextra Life and still get like voted. This guy has eight down votes. He posted this in March of this year. I don't know why people hate on these guys. Some comments on this page are unreasonable at all. Much like the angels in Drag Heap, they are basically IQ check and not that hard to deal with once you figure out the way. Um, also, the sound of them summoning phantoms is pretty orgasmic. Weird thing to add at the end there. Uh, but but uh, eight down votes of, on like the the extreme grognards yeah. of, uh, of Fextra Life. And they're right. The grognards are correct. Um, yeah. Because the angels in the Dreg Heap go away after you kill them. Yeah. It's such an easy, like an unbelievable unforced error by Miyazaki. Like, yeah. He, he usually is better than this. I like knowing when an enemy is like, okay, that's a special enemy. You kill it once. Don't you dare. 
like I was just following an enemy uh, note that you can you can't see because you're a your player character. It just says uh, push here or uh, perhaps perhaps kick. I'm actually kind of like it's funny because like I was like, <laughs> I was feeling kind of down about the Dragon's Dogma too because I was like happy to write this review and. Mm. And it's, you know, getting into the right. parts where it's, it's like, tough. you know, parts of Dragon's Dogma 2 really just kind of, like, didn't really hit for me, and it, sure. um, so on and so forth. But, like, after that, I'm just like, well, at least it doesn't do that bullshit. <laughs> All right. There better not be bullshit in this room, Miyazaki. Okay, good. Oh, just a bonfire? Great. I'll take that. Yeah, That's I wish wonderful. I wish I'd checked in here earlier. Help me. Help me. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, That's dude. That's a good message. Yeah, Friendship yeah. required ahead. Dragon, Dragon ahead. ahead. Does not open from this side. Ahead. Well, oh, look at that. It's oh, that's this, neat. Okay, it's yeah, it's a, little... it's a C, it's not a C, it's a, 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 a Framped. It's a Framped, but it's he still... has a furry body. Oh, yeah, the weird body going on. Well, I guess we never see their bodies, do we? We just see their necks. I just and thought that... they were serpents because they're called serpents, but maybe they have like those weird little, looks like a a, a prairie dog. It, God, he really does. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> you take a prairie dog prairie. and you put Pram's head on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh, I really... God. I don't, I don't care for this version of Pram's. Premiering this month at the Philadelphia Zoo. <laughs> Ramp the prairie I mean, dog. They should do. They should do more stuff where like they they reintroduce characters in this game, but then add really uncomfortable things about them like that. Like Framp <laughs> now. Th this is Framp's body now. Why is and, this? Uh... This is a whole hallway <laughs> full of these guys. This is you're, you're so not... wrong and great. <laughs> <laughs> we brought back Ornstein and Smo, but it turns out, uh, you know, their armors, they're just one giant head under there, just shaped like a body. Oh, and... we got a, there's a dude over here. Oh, cool. Friendship? Friendship. Luring it, out, it required out required ahead. Oh, can, wait, no, because there's no... Can't target it. All right, well, there you go. An ember. That's just like that thing that other guy has up there. Oh. Oh, oh it's, it's this guy. Well, fancy meeting you here. A true blessing that we should seek the same place and find ourselves standing here together. I've got the last of my brew. Let's have our own little toast with it. Oh. Oh, Seek Brow. Why that's do you a, have a Seek Brow? That's to a my very search, funny. And to your duty. And to the joy that lies before us. All right then. Bottoms up. <laughs> So now, I'm off in search of the purging monument. There's the Jew. Once I find there. it, everything will come back to me. Who I was, what I lived for, what my name was, and what terrible grudges I held. I don't know. <laughs> I just have this feeling that that's the kind of man I was. Oh, I agree. don't hold it against me. I only think I was. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. Lap is great. Now he's so good. Okay. Well. Apparently that's called like a frog's neck helmet. There was a post oh, going around is that earlier. What it's called? Yeah. Um There were a bunch of artists passing around like just like medieval helmet and armor uh illustrations and stuff and uh, and it was Frog listed stick. as a oh god, fucking. Which I guess it kind of does look like a frog's neck. I mean, I I buy it. it like, yeah. it, it, I think what like what's cool about it is the actual helmet looks like a frog's mouth, and if you put a neck on like under it, it would it would make sense. Yeah, or frog mouth helmet maybe. I don't know, but like it's anyway either. Like it does have, I, I could see if you just add some googly eyes on top, it just becomes instantly like a like a like a Don Bluth ass, yeah, frog. Yeah, frog. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy's got plague. Oh, I or like someone's that. got He's plague. Cool. Do we have plague you're jars getting, in here? Getting, Are there plague jars again? Uh, I think so. There were some. There was some. You want to hear a funny thing about Lap? 
Um, mm. I won't I won't spoil anything for the audience. We've already talked about his voice actor. Yeah. Um, Lap in Swedish and Norwegian translates to patch. Huh. <laughs> That's really funny. I love it so much. But in high middle German, it means something else because that's what um, Vadi said. Well, Vadi knows high middle German so well. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's definitely these guys, I think. Do they just purge as you kill them? Oh, yeah, they have those little... Boy, it's a nightmare of a thing. Hollow gems. All carrying around hollow gems. This is like I I like this level design. Uh, I just wish there weren't the the giants weren't a stupid stupid decision. It is a it, it's a really frustrating thing because I I was it's it's a it's an amazing place in mm -hmm. most ways, and that's just one way. It, it's like it's and it's so jarring, it's so it's, obvious. It's really interesting, kind of going down this this deep in the city too, because like in like you know in Orlando, we see the kind of all the cathedrals dotting the landscape and stuff like that, but we're always above it. You know, Correct. except for when yeah. we drop down that one side to go um, find the secret path into Gwendolyn's abode. But like here, we're kind of hopping down to kind of, you know, to terrace levels on the outside and like getting a sense of the, the scope and structure of the city, which is kind of just seems immense. Yeah, it's huge. Um, like Again, even, like, it's the kind of, of it feels like a an, a an Elden Ring practice mm -hmm. run like it feels a lot like that city in Elden Ring yeah oh what what homie Whoa, okay okay listen there's no need for this <laughs> shit the dark mark knight <laughs> that was that was wild. That I, that one, I I gotta say, as far as an encounter goes, that does take a bit of the sting out of the giants because that was a very well designed. Yeah, encounter. that was that was great. Um, damn, what a good piece of armor too. Oh my god, so sharp. These people being contemplative, crushed no. by a ring. That's the Ring City. Maybe that's why they call it that. Do we get? Do I we thought get? It was because it was a ring, but yeah, I think they're like, like they're like hauling these rings, and they've got this one hand that's like somewhat agony, but also kind of like you know put put the ornate crystal orb in my hand to open the passageway. Yeah, it's a bit supplication. Yeah, and they got this. Just, just. Yeah, let's give it a look. But, and the face, I you know what? Looking at it closer, it's not as agonized as I thought it no. was. It's just more kind of sorrowful. Yeah, like because like from from when we first looked, walked by it, it, it looks very very agonized. Mm hmm. Yeah. But no, I think it's because of the way that the wrap kind of interacts with the mouth, and you sort of like your mm -hmm. your mind connects it in a different way. That's really interesting. Yeah. A lot of lot of uh, a lot of paths for these because those also look like a version, if like an older version of the people with the shells on their backs. I was um, just thinking that yeah, when I first came down here, I'm like, is this is this like an early, an early version they, of, of of that you know they practice? They have to carry rings first, yeah. <laughs> but you are chunk. so right lots about of, the toxic. Yeah. Lots of chunks going on. Just in case you needed to. Make some weapons better. Yeah. In case you got here and you hadn't been improving your weapons. You know, it's, it's funny because I'm thinking about, like, the way this place kind of, um, you know, when we look out at, like, the vistas over here and, like, we can see all, like, oh, we're going to go there. No, we're going to go there. We're clearly going to go there. And these are all spaces we can go to. It it doesn't actually... It they've, they've done a really great job of tucking it into places so that it looks much larger than I think the actual playable yeah. zones are. I was just thinking that too. And like, if you look at the playable zones, the ones that are close by, it feels very reasonable, but then you sort of, you immediately extrapolate it out. Mm -hmm. 
and, 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 and like in a reasonable way like even if you're used to kind of reading maps ahead of time with video games it's it you know, just kind of <laughs> terrible work oh whoa okay yeah that would have been a better sneak attack than screaming and yeah, jumping down. Lead, lead with the the lightning bolt, my guy. <laughs> yeah, I just, just no, I no offense, say, but just you know, just a little, little bit of advice. It's a bit better than the pushing attack that uh, we've been seeing a lot of. Oh, oh, oh my, oh, oh boy, oh, oh god, boy. oh look, it's, it's like it's it's one of the clerics. Oh, and he's yep. he's doing a thing. What is he doing? He oh, someone. he's. Oh, he's trying to get you. God. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I... <laughs> yeah, well. So his is like. It's like a growth. It's well, no, it's like a. It's almost like a weird, like kind of hornet's nest shell, kind of. But see, it's part of his robes. Yeah. Huh. Then early, yeah, before it goes up over his head, I guess. Yeah. See, like it's like it's like. Slag almost that's been melted onto his robes. I. Oh god, his body is so weird. It is. Oh wait, like, cause it's like shell, but then there's like, it looks like it's been like wrapped with like some kind of like metal. Yeah. See? Yeah, I do see that. And like, how does it get on the bot? Oh, well, I mean, you know, maybe that's not clear. It, cause it is uh, turtle like. Yeah. Right. Like I mean, even the way his arms. It's kind of like a vest. It. See, cause like it's. It's hard to get him on his back. <laughs> but like, yeah, see, yeah, so yeah. like it goes and then it kind of wraps around to the front of his, his, his blue tunic. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I really, I'm not a fan. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I would never wear that shell. So personally. All these, all these white flowers. They're growing. beautiful flowers. It's a nice, it's a nice flower. They did a great job with those. It's interesting because they're all, they're, um, you know, um, like they're growing very haphazardly, but like, so like there's still a pathway through them. So no uh -huh. one cared about getting the flowers out of this, you know, this, we've got this tree plot right here and we've got <laughs> yeah, these, we these, keep these bushes it behind matter. it. And it's really funny because the bushes seem very manicured. The tree seems very manicured, but these flowers have growing through, you know, they, they, they spread out through there. The flowers are also trampled. Which is interesting, yeah. but then oh god, it terrified me. Um, <laughs> but then this this pathway here seems like you know it's been traveled enough that no one's the flowers aren't growing there. You know, this is always when when I was a kid. This is when people said an English garden, and then they were like, oh, they just kind of let anything grow in, in whatever way they want. Uh, and that's what I thought it was. Like I thought it was like without rhyme or reason, you just kind of let the flowers grow where they would. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of wish it was that it's it's a little more yes <laughs> know, purposeful but i i i like this a lot as like a concept like this is just what's growing here and the flowers choose where they grow and got some weird crabgrass over there and some weeds there and that's just what's going to be there uh, and then there's these yellow ones over here yeah are they the, weeds or flowers i, I mean they look well, you know weedy. a weed a weed is it's a, you know botanically a weed is just any unwanted growth Mm. Um, you know, it, it like there is no like a weed is just it, you don't want it there. Um, you can cultivate you know like dandelions and have them be a thing that you want to grow. Oh shit! Yeah, come out here. That's that's interesting. I didn't really I didn't realize it was fully a colloquialism. I knew there had to be some part of it that was, but that's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, weird ass motherfucker. Stop that. They're crawling around like that, <gasps> casting weird circle shit. Oh, I thought he'd stand up and fight you there. I was excited. <laughs> it looked like he was going to try. No, they're way too busy doing their little, like... Spider walk. Their, their little weird spider crawl, yeah. Miyazaki has had a team spend a lot of time and money 
making that crawling animation for the 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 Sadako's in the sewer. <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna use it every chance he gets. He's gonna get my money's worth. I mean I would. Didn't sit around studying how arachnids move for nothing. So we're here and we've got these are the kind of Anor Londor Knight guys depicted yep. now. Yeah, we have a different a different set of knights. Yeah, I, it's interesting not really because like, isn't this the pygmy city? I mean, this is where the pygmy went. Yes. So it's it's weird having kind of Gwyn knight reflected, but I guess Gwyn Gwyn sent his 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 daughter here. Yeah, like isn't I guess oh. like the oh boy oh he's like got a spear oh and there's more of these oh, assholes oh boy. It seems like this the 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 lore seems to be something along the lines of like everyone just comes here and like all history you know present is past and future is you know past is future and all because you know like the historical record goes through the pygmy city. Oh. 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 You Some should have bitch. lived through that. That that was a uh, that was. Rude. Yeah, that was rude. Now we get to find out if these guys come back. And you know what? I bet they do. They, oh, one million percent they one do. One million percent they do. I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, I forgot about these guys. I forgot that there are just guys up here too. Yeah, no, not 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 just special ones. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna see if we can just run past everyone. Never before have there been more recognizable mobs in, uh, in Dark Souls than these guys. Yeah. Like, at least the, the hollows, if you just let them, they could probably kill you. Yeah, there these he guys, is. Oh, yeah, there he is. I mean, that at least was predictable, I would say. Yeah. I was kind of hoping he was he was just done for, but... Yeah, you know. I mean... I wish, I wish they were a little braver with storytelling in these games. Uh... But they are more interested in uh, pushing difficulties. You know so. what? That means I'm not going to fight him either. That's right. A shriving stone. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I ran through your shit. I'm not trying to fucking dealing with any of y'all. Oh, right. Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Everything is bad. <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. This looks exactly like that one place in Bloodborne. It does. I... <laughs> They reused this. I, I'm dying on this hill. Oh. Uh, talk? Huh. Talk. To a door? Don't come up here. Stay down there. Nope, they're coming up here, Trevor. Well, maybe Trevor, they I've see made you in mistakes. the doorway. No, I made mistakes. Oh, they saw you. The worm humanity guys found you. Oh. Oh, and those guys are listening to us about the lightning. This is all going wrong. Moss fruit. All right. Oh. Oh, there's another guy over here. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. Jesus, this is this, this is zone is massive. huge. We were wrong about oh, this zone. I went wrong direction. Secretly. That guy's throwing up fire balls. That's oh, dark. The seeker of spurn invade. And okay, we're well, that, that's, that, that means, would be an NPC because you are not. Yeah. Um, Kindled. Nope. What's I didn't know around? that NPCs could invade when you weren't kindled. Yeah, apparently they can, or at least Alva can. Oh, Black Witch set. That's interesting. All the way back here. That is interesting. Jesus, Alva. Whoa. How do you know that's Alva? Uh, Alva's the Seeker of the Spurn, isn't he? Oh. Is that... Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Unless that's a different Seeker of the Spurn. We did kill Alva already, but I thought... Well, death and life don't work quite the same way in yeah. the Ring City. Yeah. Um, Alva Part 2? It is Alva Part 2. Yeah. Alva's tough. At least I know now that I can run past so much of this bullshit. It's like the kind of, it's like a boss run but without a boss at the end. Yeah, without a boss at the end. Without Fair. really a direction at the end also, which is yeah. that's interesting. It's a chaos run. It is a chaos run. Um but I feel like, you know, I've spent enough time 
you know, visualizing this 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 part of the city. You know, we we got a sense of it. We're in a pavilion. It's just a pavilion. There's nothing really all that special going on here. I'm gonna go. If you know what a quad is, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna place. go up just this 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 way this time and not trigger those giants. And maybe we'll have time to talk to this person. To talk to this person. Speak thee the name of God, thine own God, oh. if thou canst recall. Ah, then thou ah. not forgotten. Perhaps tis why we may converse. I am known as Shearer, servant to the Princess Filianor, matriarch of the church. They who are kin to God's name are surely kin to the terrors of the dark. Please, I bid thee take not from the princess her peace or rest. As the fire waneth, does she lie by the dark? All for the sake of man. Well, at least we got that dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Terrors in the dark? No, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> oh my god. Ray, if someone asks if you remember the name of your god, you say Gwyn. Yeah, you know, like, I just, just like, well, that's, a, that's a name of a god I know, sure. You, you you chose you chose the Winston route, and for that you were rewarded. <laughs> you know what? I think I think we're gonna end it there. I think <laughs> I think that's been a run. I think we've accrued enough it's, deaths. It's it's feel, ten till midnight. I, I feel a little bad for you that like in the midst of this like brutal review, this is like oh a little 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 peace and calm, little little routine, and uh, it it's that that gave you this. It gave you like. You Miyazaki's know, greatest hits. It gave me Miyazaki's greatest hits. It gave me, but it was a lot of fun. Um, That's true. To to go through this 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 zone full of super highs and super lows, and not and like make a progress. Like we made it to a bonfire. Yeah. We made it to another NPC. You know. We we, I, we heard more about Gwyn's daughter. Yeah, we we learned this Shira, who is you know like the handmaiden to the princess and who's does not want us to disturb the princess indicates that the princess is uh somewhere she could be disturbed yeah um so that's interesting um <laughs> incredibly funny <laughs> this is this is this is a game actually you know what before we go i want to look at i want to look at we got um this this witch set oh okay yeah let's look at that Um, the black witch hat the purple hat of the witch Zuli who intended to seduce Alva the wayfarer but eventually became his closest supporter spending her entire life with him the pointed hat is a symbol of heretical magical crafts and Zuli wars hers with an unspoken but deep sense of pride it's a real classic love story. Yeah, that's a good hat, though. Zuli's got cool a good hat. hat. Yeah, looks like a hunter's hat a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's in kind a of cool a, way. In a, not it's a, like a not good witch way. who's traveling hat. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, so yeah, it's said that the Zuli, the witch who was never loved nor loved another, experienced oh. all manner of misfortune, and yet in the end found her purpose in life. Um, is, being is this, Zuli the is Zuli the most uh, non-tragic character in Dark Souls. Like, honestly, like she's like super tragic and also like not at all. It's really yeah, interesting. She, she kind of, she kind of like, she kind of ended up winning. Yeah, no, she, she, she did. Um, there actually is a, I think if I remember correctly, there is a pretty good video that Vadi did on Zuli pulling together some pieces of lore that is not. Um, it's one of like. <laughs> It's, it's not based offensive. on like what her name might mean in Greek or like Yeah, whatever. it's actually not. It like it's kind of pulling together like, okay, you know, and he makes a good he pulls together a good narrative about it. Okay. Yeah. I mean he I, I've seen him do that. He did that with um the guy whose name I can never remember, the 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 bastard who kills the firekeeper in the in the first game. Um uh the, the, the gold armor guy. Um Body has a decent video on him. Um I don't remember his name. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, although it's gonna bother me. 
no. La Trek, La Trek, La Trek. Trek. There we go. La Trek. <laughs> ah. uh, yeah, no, Vadi has a pretty decent video on La Trek. I will say that. Yeah, no, it's, it's the, a good for one, all the too. Fun I've, yeah, for all the fun I've made of Vadi, um, I, I will say he knows what he's doing and also so his videos are legitimately pretty good yeah, no, Vadi, um, Vadi, when Vadi is on when Vadi is on Vadi can put together a really compelling little like 10 minute narrative video um, yeah. filling in uh, gaps with a great deal of speculation but that usually uh, as long as he's staying away from etymology and things like that mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like just Vadi's best when Vadi is telling a story yes and not trying to do like you know like uh, yeah language analysis because he can't do that but he no. can tell a story it's true um so trevor <laughs> speak of telling stories tell me the story of yeah. what you've been up to ah uh, well a long time ago uh not uh, not a lot i um i released my first uh in the newer schedule of things uh doing uh two two episodes that are free a month and two on the patreon and then you know whatever Whatever's free, whatever else I record uh, is, is, you know, free, free to all. So, you know, in in moments of feast, it will be feast. In moments of famine, we'll still get four months. So, that's my new thing. Um, writing a little bit too. Uh, my birthday is tomorrow, which is exciting. <gasps> um, Going to be eighty-five years old. Uh, Feliz cumpleaños! Thank you so your birth, much. Wait, your birthday is going to be in tomorrow, or is going to be in five minutes? In five minutes. In five minutes from now. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you can, you can listen to me at no cartridge, uh, Patreon is patreon.com slash no cartridge. I had a really fun episode, which I almost lost, but, uh, was reminded actually by, uh, AJ Diddy, who's on the podcast, uh, that it never got posted. So, uh, it's a <laughs> fun little, fun little, uh, romp about, uh, Persona 3 that I was very happy to be able to save. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, already scheduled a homicide recording for next week. It would, uh, got all sorts of fun stuff in the pike. Uh, and, and check out the Substack at uh, No Cartridge uh, there as well. It's just uh, nocartridge.substack.com. Um, uh, a little off schedule this week, but uh, we're, we're, we're doing three a week. And uh, it's it's so far, it's been fun. Uh, I, have a, I have a neat piece up on why I like uh, the schlock of um, EDF 4.1 so, so, <laughs> so, so, so much. Um but yeah, that's what I've been up to. Dia, can you tell me the story to put me to bed uh, in, a, in a happy and content mood of what you have been up to? Um, well, last last Sunday, I did uh, Boku no Natsu Yutsumi 2 with, with M from Abnormal Mapping. We had a blast um, uh, with doing more ghost stories um, and, and also mother-daughter estrangement narratives, um, which is always fun. Um, oh sure. So, yeah. Okay. So if you like chill out vibes that are touch, you know, uh, that are, are wrought through with um, sad girls, ghost girls, and moms, uh, go check that out because that was that was a total blast. Um, <clears throat> and I think that one ended actually with a really fun story time between me and M. Uh, <laughs> you gotta stay to the end because that's where the weird podcasting happens. You always have to stay. I if if people are watching these videos and not staying to the end of all of them including these um you are missing out and i i don't know i, I feel bad for you i feel for you i know um, at this point we, to be we, staying to we the are end. preaching to the choir but it's like look just because i'm standing here and you see like there's 10 minutes left that usually means that's where i'm gonna drop some really juicy shit yeah it's um, not it's not plugs plugs are really quick <laughs> these are this is not where the plugs are this is where the good stuff is yeah um god um <clears throat> Yeah, like last, like with with that one, that's where I started talking about my mom's poetry workshop that she's taking, and um, the poetry professor that writes poems about how he's an eagle and he's soaring above Manhattan and like spying on like a young woman. Oh, that's yeah, that's a yeah. that's a bad. Poem. If you don't listen all the way to the end of that podcast, if you see the the title card go up at the end and you zip through it, you miss all of that. You're just like, oh, they're not going to talk about anything. They're just going to do plugs. It's like, no, no. Yeah, we're we're talking about an eagle and not the Philadelphia kind. Yeah, is, not is what is what DNM will tell you. <laughs> um, so that was fun, uh, and then I spent all week trying to write this review um, that's already like it was like a week overdue on as of Monday, and then I've just been just trying so hard. I ended up writing two essays that needed to be split apart. 
Um, and then I needed to figure out the essay after I had ripped out the second essay from it, um, how to turn that back into its own essay. And like writing is hard. I've, I've been there 1 million percent writing is hard. But um, so that should be up sometime. As soon as I finish that, I have to immediately turn around and start writing a piece on Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball that I'm actually really excited to write about. But yeah, so that's going to be a busy weekend. But then, you know, Sunday we'll get a new book, another book of Natsu Yasumi, um, where we'll have even more ghost stories and mom drama. And I'll probably tell more embarrassing stories from my childhood and my life. Um, and then uh, next week after that, we're going to be doing Adventure Gamers Clubhouse. I still haven't figured yes. out what it is, but we're going to do something cool. Um, oh, so, I'm so amped. Adventure Gamers Clubhouse rocks. Yeah, it's a dollar on Patreon. Like, just 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 run over to Patreon, give me a dollar, and you can have access to a bunch of uh, classic adventure games. Uh, me playing my way through basically my childhood. <laughs> Um, and if you're if you're a fan of stories, then uh, yeah, we got some good stories. Let we got me some, tell you, we got some good stories. We got me dealing with beanstalks that don't have really good um, pathing on them. Uh, it's a time. Um, and uh, I, I did a whole entire 15 minute spiel at the beginning of the King's Quest One about uh, the difference between the IBM PC with you know and the IBM PC Junior. For fuck's Ooh, sake. Yeah. And that's the, a fantastic. I mean, that's just a historical note that everyone needs to know. Yeah. PC Junior is a weird ass thing. Um, yeah. It's really strange. I, I, that's like, that's like, I, I feel like that's along those lines of things where it's, it's in the past enough that people are going to hear that and think like, do you mean PC 88? Did you mean to say PC 88? It's <laughs> like, no, I didn't. I meant to say PC Junior. Yep. Um, but yeah. So. That's cool. Uh, and let's see what else. Um, and then I'm going to do, we got a, we got $5 patrons. got a Vesper Asperities where we began the quest to cure vampirism. Um, oh, good. and we did a whirlwind tour of, uh, of, of Cyrodiil, which will be continuing this week. And then, um, yeah, oh, we'll be doing more of this. We'll come back, come back after that. We got more dark souls, baby. Uh, I mean, and based on this bit, we have a lot more Dark Souls. We have a lot more Dark Souls, it would seem. <laughs> uh, exciting. It's exciting. It's good. It's good to have this much Dark Souls. It's true. It's, uh, yeah. No. Yeah. It's always good. But uh, yeah, links are down in the description. And that's all we got. So till next time, remember, all is for the best. In this, the best of all possible souls. And we'll see you. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Trevor. Oh, thank you, Dia. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm I, I can't believe we got through this whole episode and right at the end is when, oh yeah, my birthday's tomorrow. Well, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to like take, it was, it was such a fun episode. I didn't want to We didn't be get like, to well, sing you happy birthday and have the, Derby gesticulate. Uh, the focus the has to be on me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Derby, Derby, Derby does so much for me. It was, it was enough of a birthday present to have her there. Well, um, 18 deaths, by the way. 18 deaths. Happy, I, happy 18th I birthday. Say, happy 18th birthday to me. Having 18 deaths means it was an entertaining stream, which is exactly what I uh, need uh, when, <laughs> when it's my birthday. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we, could, glad we could gift you this, this wonderful time. Oh, no, I had a great time.